Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? And I'll fucking tell you why we can't, because Lewis Reed's here. Wait, no, Lewis Bryce is here. No, Lewis Bryce yes, is here. Yes, he is. Lewis Reed is also here. I am the Lewis host. Bryce is here. You, you need me here. Yeah. Welcome back to, to the, the Fatherless fun. Podcast, the first one of the new year. Uh, yeah. uh, 2024, so. the year of our Lord. Yeah. Starting it off with a bang. Unfortunately, Lewis is here. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, probably just, uh, obviously, because you used to kind of know each other, I'll kind of hold court a wee bit. Mm-hmm. So, Sean, how did you meet this creature? Well, I met this Mr. Well. I went to... Uh, to college and I met Lewis there and the first wait so what were you doing in college where you met him well, we're he's doing, in the same uh, class or? we're doing a HNC in social science why because we're fucked in the head fair does I respect that I respect and then that. Uh, we we met but I sat down you came in late I came in late because I went into the wrong class of course I did naturally I went to the I went to the class next to us and they were sat down I was like oh what, what class were you doing before this and we were like high school We'd got just out of six. So what class did you walk into? What were they? They were like the HND. So they oh, were the HND. Yeah. Bad right. bitches on it, but weren't they? Oh, they were fit as fuck. Hella bad bitches. Made well. fucking goth mummy. Right. Oh my god. I still dream of her. What? What? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, we met at college, and then uh, I don't know. Uh, I felt like a paedophile, mate, because I was just the sat. oldest guy now. Aye, mate. No, but I wasn't. No, there was like cunts were like fifty. Forty and all that. There was cunts of forty, but because I was sat with them, so I just sat because we were like the only like. Guys in uh, the class. The the ones at our table were me and two other people that I'd been in high school with. Yeah. So you looked really out of place. Because uh, they all knew each other and I was like, hey, hey. I was like, hey, do you guys, um, do you still use Scottish currency or what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but we met and uh, I don't know. Can I just go on for the get-go? So, so how do you get from going in 9am Monday morning to do social sciences to TWG, two white guys. How, how, what, how, what was the process of that? How long did that take? That kind of came out of nowhere. That was, you, you proposed the How long had you just known each other at the time? For a you? year? Just under a year, I think um, it was. Just under a year? We started okay. filming around April, didn't we? But it was because um, it was you and Pierce. So when I was watching stand-up, yeah. the way I looked at it was the best stand-ups in the world were good at acting because it is an act. It's a that performance. Is, yeah. And... Uh, I was like, oh, I need to get good at this. And I was like, he loves acting. Like, as much yeah. as I'm McDowell, he is, like, he actually does have a passion for it. Mm-hmm. And he did, what, you did a lot in uh, high school, didn't drama, you? Drama, yeah. Advanced time of drama. Uh, what, what is that in the equivalent of, though? That's the highest level. That's the Shut the up. No, it's not, mate. It is, though. It is. It's like having a fucking... It's like a HNC. Uh, it's like passing your standard grade in mechanics. Aye, but I'll see the highest level of education <laughs> that my high school was able to give me. I achieved that. Yeah, but you got it in advanced drama. It's not like you got it in I mean, fucking biology. I, I got. I, I didn't. I, no, to be fair, with all due respect to you, drama is one of those things where it's pissy, is it? You, no, you don't need a qualification for it. Now tell tell me what you told me. How you managed to pass it? Oh my god, it's, it's similar to. It's gonna make me cringe as a no, you know, extraordinary. I, I kill yourself. It's similar to how fucking Pierce passes class. So obviously, there's a practical side and then there's a theory side. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the practical is fifty percent, and the theory is fifty percent as well. So I, I, they gave us like a 2,000 word dissertation to, to write. Yep, I remember it. And I just did not do it. I'm horrible at theory. I'm absolutely 70 out of 70. Ooh. Sorry, we can't all be geniuses. How much did you need to do for your dissertation, Paul? Fuck me. I did architecture. You fucking kid me on. Was that brutal? Aye. 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 A full year long project where a fucking model had to get built and everything. <laughs> fucking Fuck grand, mate. For sake, man. What was the model you did? Of a building, just any building. I designed it. <laughs> and, and it was just that's like, amazing, mate. You see, I've been seeing a lot of these actually. Funnily enough, like architecture memes where Aye. it's like, uh, or the plan, and then the reality, like architects just come up with pure unrealistic, like, like you draw something and you be like, yeah, but there's no way to actually properly build this. Yeah, is that what you basically done as well? No, mine no. was like just a copy a of a modern church building, uh, <laughs> like Aye. a modern church. Did you one. always want to be an architect? Nah. No, I just done it for the sake of it. It's the same way. I didn't want to be a social scientist, mate. It was just something to do. It just no, it was basically um, because uh, obviously I'm fucked in the head and I was really trying to get an understanding more of it. But then, like, when you go to these social sciences, they don't teach you actually what you think. Like, I, the issue I had was when, see, when we were doing it, and I don't know if this is just a modern thing, right? But it was pure like men are bad, women are good. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, our fucking Why not? teacher all Callum. the time. It's, 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 it, but he was a gimp. At the same point, because I never knew that about you, but being surprised hearing that, then I can see the transaction into you becoming a, a comedian because, like, so, social science is basically just commenting on the state Society, of the world at the minute. You're just 
doing it in a dark room where people are having a drink. That's yeah. the only thing. They're not reading it in a textbook. But yeah. I can see the connection. There was a time, right? Uh, I, we, we can't name him, right? He was all right, but he was a bit of a knob sometimes. Oh, shit, I thought you said his name. Should we... What? It's fine, fuck it, it's happening now, we'll keep going. Well, name. well it doesn't matter. You, uh, you missed his name, guys. It definitely wasn't what Lewis said. Uh, <laughs> Very fucked up. Right, there was uh, this one time, and I was just, uh, I had this uh, with Rory Spence as well, mm -hmm. but Rory didn't, he didn't debate me or anything. He just went, yeah, yeah, I kind of get what you mean. And I went like, I said, uh, I obviously don't agree with Andrew Tate whatsoever, mm -hmm. like on 99.9%, .9%, but I, there was one thing I agreed on, right, and... Uh, because he started talking about it, right? And it was when he was getting sex trafficked at the time, right? And I was like, I went, allegedly, I says, you can't just say it because he's not being convicted of it. Yeah. I says, that goes in the court of law with anybody. And then he just kept going at me and he's like, but he's done it, he's done it. I was like, were you there? I says, did you factor it out? Obviously, it's been proven now. Yeah. Right? But at the time, it wasn't. And I was, I was just saying, I was like, I don't think you should do it until the act. Like, you shouldn't uh, plead, plead anybody guilty unless the facts are all there and it's been they've around. actually ah, yeah. they've gone to jail and it's in court but that wasn't what I agreed on obviously right the one thing I agreed on was like I said Andrew Tate said this thing right it was obviously somebody else has definitely said it before him right because he, he just spouts every right. shite but the thing he said it was uh, there is some men out there that just want to go to work provide for their family and they like fighting and they like just being they like just having traditional societal masculine yeah. traits right and I was like I agree with that. I says there's nothing wrong with that. It's the same with like a gay fella wants to go out and wants to be like overly camp. I says anybody should be able to express how they feel as long as it doesn't in hurt individuals. And uh, it's it's that kind of argument of nature nurture though is uh, the 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 belief that Andrew Tate would be saying is that that is within that guy's nature to be like that, or is that learnt behaviour from the society around them? All right, well, that wasn't my debate. I was just saying, like, if somebody wants to be that way and they don't want to, uh, and it's causing no harm to, like, MD, like, that guy just wants Both to wait. guys, he's fighting. No, but, like, no, but I like fighting. Like, I mean, like, going sparring in gyms and stuff, like, what you used to I do know, like, Paul, like, Muay Thai. I don't mean, like, bar fights. I mean, like, guys just like to go to the gym and, like, lift weights right. or, like, go spar and stuff. And he was like, ah, no, 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 that can't be a thing. And I was like, I'm that. I mean, I want to do that. I says, I would like to provide for uh, my future family and stuff. And I says, and I like going to the gym and I like fighting, mm -hmm. like in a controlled yeah, environment. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, no, well, you should. And I was like, that's well, you're telling me not to be myself. And I says, imagine I was coming to you and saying, oh, I'm a gay fella and I want to be overly camp and I want to do this and that. And I says, and you're telling me not to be that. I says, do you not understand? It's the same thing you're saying, Calm. Yeah. I just said the guy's name again. Too late. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you both done it now. All right, and obviously I understand what you're saying. Because it comes from Andrew Tate, it sounds way worse, right? But it's like, what is that? The broken, a broken clock's right twice a day or some shit, that phrase. And it was. That was basically what I was like, yeah, I agree with that. That's kind of, I kind of agree with that. And then he just made, he just, he kept having this full-on debate with me, like just arguing. I was like, Cam, I'm not arguing. I'm just telling you, like, that's yeah. how I feel. I says, I think that should be allowed. And then he just literally did this to me. He went, that's it. I'm ending the conversation. And I went, that's not how debates go. I says, we need to debate. And, I'd be, uh, and then he just went, nope. I, he goes, I am the lecturer. That, that, that therefore means I can decide when we stop this. Well, and I, I was like, very social science teacher of you. If it's a lecturer, that's bad. Very I bad. can get that from a student. Because funnily enough, I was reading this article today. Uh, going to the, you know, uh, just talking about that thing we have respect, like with debating. Mm -hmm. That like, so let's say you'd go, oh, I would never speak to a neo-Nazi and somebody would go, no, you need to have a discussion about these things. Of course. No, because that isn't a normal moral construct. Uh -huh. So by you trying to peddle that, you're out of the contract, you're not protected. Wait. By it. So neo-Nazis are bad people? Very bad people. Oh, fucking hell, man. I told you, Sean. I've joined another cult. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, man. They always just get me. It's this email with just this bad bitch on it saying why don't you come down I'll, I'll fucking come down so Lewis tell me how many local milfs are in your area aye I've counted about six <laughs> that was not the answer you <laughs> counted yourself there as the, the neighbourhood yeah, freak he's that stupid he doesn't get that reference he just thinks there is milfs in his street <laughs> there is around six I don't get that reference at all uh, but it references email yeah um See, when I, I, uh, uh, have you ever had, like Lewis, I don't know if this ever happened to you, right? See if like a Nigerian prince, right, mails you and oh, says... Oh, he's class, man, he texts you as well. <laughs> if he... <laughs> uh, how much money have you gave him? Too much. 
Fucking idiot. You think I was able to burn through my student loans that quickly? He's <laughs> 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 fine, grand. He's fucking giving it away. To a Ugandan fucking warlord. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even say Nigerian, mate. Some fat Gosh. guy in Blackpool pretending to be a Nigerian prince. Aye. <laughs> uh, see, uh, see the fucking uh, the lecture, obviously? Remember at the start of the course, he was like, oh, guys, you can let, you can debate about anything. Yeah. There's no wrong answer. And then you were winding him up, though. You got him, mate. You were winding him up a wee bit. No, I deliberately done it because I knew he didn't mean what he said. Like right, when he goes, you can course, when he's I, when he said uh, you can debate about everything. Like all opinions are valid and should be listened to. I was like, say no more. <laughs> I was like, challenge like, accepted. Really Let's test this, this boundary. Uh, I was like, I should have went, went. I think we should be allowed to say the word. Just saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Imagine the lecture went, Amen, man. It just dapped me up, mate. We we did fuck him quite a lot though. I remember that. Uh, we, we were Are you going to reveal something that's not meant to be revealed? No, it's, it's something fucked. But yeah, it's not. It's, it's not. Oh, it's, 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 it's a wee stone. funny thing. It's a wee funny thing. Right. So obviously, uh, we were halfway through the day. It was our first like period, and we're about to go into the second period. I could not be asked. I just wanted to go home. This high school or college we're talking about? College. Uh, college so yeah, right. there's only you only get two periods, obviously. So we did politics, and we're going to go into sociology. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to leave, so I grabbed my bag, grabbed my jacket, went out. And as I was leaving, he was coming back in, and. Mm. Obviously, I've shot myself. I'm like, fuck, he's caught me. So I had to think of a quick, like, excuse. And I've just said to him, oh, no, I've just got a phone from my dad. My, my grand's in the hospital and I've boosted half. <laughs> and I got a text, like, 20 minutes later. We're like, are you okay, by the way? Like, is she okay? I, was like, I thought you were going to... That was going to go completely different. You got a text from your grand saying, I'm in the hospital. No, <laughs> like, so did she I. She actually died. No. Imagine that, mate. He gets down in the stairs, like, and then he's gonna, his dad actually phones and goes, oh, your grand's just died. I've see that, my see that as, as an excuse goes why would you use it for such a minor thing you could have just said oh I I've got an upset stomach why didn't you just say oh, why way? is that the first thing you Aye. went to grand's for and done the stairs like, uh, I don't know it's are, are you wanting her to die no I love my grand I love you granny you're, you're also an adult you can be like I can't be fucked I know just say tell them fuck off I, I, mean, I, was, like, I was like 18 I have not even caught on to that it was just the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, ah, what's a good excuse? Do you not, do you not fucking... remember, like, so see, at school, you legally need to be there, see college, isn't it? You don't. Do you you can literally, it's as long choice. as you pass, it's fine. Wait, what, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. I swear, I could have just left. <laughs> He's been like, oh, um, um, my, my, whole, uh, my whole house is blown up and all oh, my family's dead, so uh, I need to go. <laughs> I have a gaslit him as well, man. I, I have hey. was gaslit him over, like, teams and shit. Just to not, I will like, ask the thing, that's a lie you need to keep up. I'm surprised you had the intelligence to keep oh, up that I'll, lie. I'll <laughs> the funniest part is his gran's already dead. What? Oh, oh, I suppose you... Sorry, bad time to tell you, mate. Huh? Your gran's dead. Granny! No. But do you know the reason I got on with him so Beautiful well? Beautiful bit to the bunny girl, she's so bad at the sky. <laughs> that's, the the reason I, that's the reason I got on with him so well, because I was like, oh, this guy's an, also a complete degenerate. McDowell. All right, and then, oh, mate, oh, right, I got him. Uh, basically, we'd, we started doing it, and then we both went through a breakup at the exact same time, and it kind of just brought us a lot. As nah, a bit closer sounds, together, man. But hella close. And then, we're going through the same struggle. All right, but then we basically... Started Gay. sucking each other off, and we basically were like, "Look, uh, I never <laughs> started it with spinning." It's like I never want to be with a woman again, but a man. Mm, so I'm just gonna clap that up, man. I'm fucked. Uh, <laughs> Get it shipped. And then we basically just came up with like the concept for. I find it so funny that when somebody goes like that to their son, oh, who are you watching? And he goes, "Oh, just two white guys." <laughs> You I just, just think that's funny to say. So, so is that, yeah, that, like, well, so that literally just where the name came from? Like, just just being yeah. And the fact that you are two white gentlemen. Aye, that's um, it, literally. Because we thought it ought to be funny when somebody's sitting at like, a family dinner and goes, I've just watched two white guys on the TV. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just... So which, yeah. so which you then, guys, experience with, you know, Instagram and TikTok and all that starting it? Because obviously we kind of had a bit of a head start, but, yeah. you know, uh, what, what, what's well, it like? You've, you've kind of been in, been in the game for a while, obviously, with, like, stand-up and, like... Um, the, podcast, the thing you're on. The thing that I'm on right now. <laughs> the fatherless podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what I'm on? Yeah. But obviously for me, I'd went from, you know, normal kind of life, just high school, going into college, and then I've kind of been thrown into like stand up, uh, filming filming like sketches with one, one another. It was very different. Even Fire Journey the Fringe, man, which is oh my so God, heavy to do. The Fringe. Right. It's. It's a completely different was it, world. Was it stand up you were doing at the Fringe? Aye. Uh, yeah, I did a couple gigs. I did like two or three gigs. I, I basically just got. Did, 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 you did more than me when I started. Aye. I only did um, that one way. Gardner. Aye, Pearson Gardner. Aye. Well, you've done and more you, than me now. No, you. Were you there that day? No, I wasn't no. there that day. No. But I um, basically I was like, 
I just vouched for him because I was like, the dude that's funny. Mm. Like he's a funny guy. Like it's just when Thanks, man. it's when he it's when he can control his ADHD and actually hone in. Aye, uh, he needs to you need to focus on it. So like I wrote he bad. wrote a joke, right? He wrote a joke, right? And I was like, that is a genuine I was like, that's a genuine joke I would do, but then I went back to him, but your ADHD takes you in about twenty different avenues, Lewis. And I was like, it's too blocky and chunky. What was meant to just be like a thirty to forty second bit was like two minutes for him. Ah, you've took us all going because he's like, back again. He's like, ah, Christ the Redeemer. And he goes, you know, Brazil, it is in Brazil, and Brazil is known for this, and they speak Portuguese in it. And I'm like, what? You I, are, I would ramble Wikipedian filibustered. And, ah, and I was like, I did have a bad had issue of like kind of going over my allotted time. Out, no, it was which like means a, really bad issue. Motherfucker, you went over like a minute every time. <laughs> yeah, it was like a minute every minute time. Minute and although, and although, although, to be fair, I'll, I'll, I'll say that, that that's. In a kind of a way, a remarkable quality because I don't know. See, when you're like you're going up on stage, you're like, need to fucking go. He doesn't mind taking his time, whether it's because he doesn't give a shit or he's not noticing. <laughs> it's not, but we're like, like <laughs> oh, we need to get this, this, this. He's yeah. a in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, <laughs> and then the joke. <laughs> And now I'm here doing stand up, so <laughs> it's, as not, I was it's, saying. Not, it's not me taking my time, it's just I think I just talk shit for a long for a long time. I can just don't I know what shit. Don't <laughs> I know what right. he knows it more than anyone. I, I'll, I'll just actually admit. see this podcast at the start, that was the quietest you've ever been ever, in your entire ever, life. Ever, mate. Oh, no, I'm not used to it. It I was so it. peaceful. But uh, I will just I'll just out myself, right? I love weed, mate, right? Right, cool. <laughs> I love weed. <laughs> right. I gave Lewis. I, sp- in over right, uh, I, I spiked Lewis. What? Right? I spiked Lewis uh, one night. Heroin. Yes, I spiked Lewis one night. Uh, and on that one evening, Lewis must, the way my, uh. Lewis must have read the dictionary to me eight billion times that night because the amount he fucking spoke, mate, was crazy. I had no idea. But, no, but, no, but, but, but not even that. You, you, him just sober as well. Do you remember? So, me, Sean, and Lewis spent a wonderful. New Year's Eve together. Not and a gay way, Paul. No. A wonderful night for I mean, love and passion. The bells no. Not, <laughs> not, not love and passion. Oh, trust me, there was passion in the air. Aye, that, that was our pure... That night was crazy. So yeah. And you were drinking as well. You just chat, chat, chat. So hug me, eh? Right. Spent rimming each other. But... <laughs> <laughs> mate, you've got no idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like mate. a human centipede kind of thing. What you know? the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no. But, see, that's kind of... Oh, mate, the funniest part of that night was, uh, what was on the telly? But, mate, oh, no, we were listening to Led Zeppelin, aye, Led well, Zeppelin 2. No, but we were listening to Led Zeppelin, right, and it literally said on, on the TV... Oh, no, it was Boston. Right, Boston, but what was on? It was, aye, Boston were on, right, it literally said Boston on the TV, and then he turned around and went, ah, oh, Pink Floyd are class. <laughs> And I went, That's it. what? We ripped him for about 40 minutes, like, oh, says it. I was like, mate, look at the fucking screen, man. Uh, I mean, if I it was Pink know. Floyd, I'd be on the floor having a panic attack, <laughs> no being able to cope. I am um, pop culture trash. I know nothing. I know absolutely yeah, nothing. Yeah, you've got a really stupid tattoo on you. Fuck you, I've got a great tattoo. I don't know pop culture, but it's, it's the top of a ship tattoo. It's a brilliant tattoo. By the way, I've been winding him up. You, uh, I have just became a fucking infant since I last seen you, Paul. All I've done is stand up and play video games. Oh my god, that's yeah. that. energy. I drink more. <laughs> you literally have you're literally a toddler. Aye, I'm a legit toddler. You're so, the size of one. So uh I've just turned you into like a nineteen year old degenerate. Aye. Well he's no nineteen, has he? But we were playing, degenerate nonetheless. We were, we we've got right into COD zombies lately. Oh so Right, bad. but the OG maps, I don't know if he's ever played them. What like from when? Like we talking about. What, what was the well, OG Black one Ops, we did? We're playing Black Ops 3 and obviously they have this thing with the gear. Black Ops like, 3 is not the, the classic. No, but, no, but it gives you all the, you know, the, you know, the maps, Chronicles right. DLC. Gives you all that. Gives you the maps from like Black Ops 1 and then yeah. like two maps from Black Ops 2. And we're playing Ops what's it called? Class. Fucking uh, Varok Tank it's called, which is like the hardest uh, map. And we just legit just sit in a corner and just like shoot Aye. zombies for ages. But or, I've um, been doing this, I get him right, because... Uh, so I, obviously, because uh, I grew up in utter poverty and I'm a loser, right? I never played all that shit. Right, until like, like I was a certain age when it was kind of out of date like so you would have been on fucking I don't know Modern Warfare 2 and I'd be like oh I'm, I just bought the first COD do you know what I mean that's how far <laughs> behind I was right uh, so he's been like trying to teach me I've stuff I've just been playing Lego Star Wars this whole time <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about college only I've, Lego caught, Star I've Wars. just caught up to that mate <laughs> but uh, he's been teaching me like how to like fucking play it and what the perks and all that shit mean yeah. right and, uh, ray gun. But see, every time he does it to me, I'll be. He'll go, yeah, mate. So what you need to do is you go grab the ray gun. I'm like, yeah, okay, Lewis. That's what we'll go do. I'll go grab the ray gun. I just feel like <laughs> just um, actually, uh, actually, Lewis, the ray gun has forty bullets, not sixty. Yeah, yeah, I just feel annoying. Lewis, like, tell oh, me, did you, you enjoy the Drake leak? Did you enjoy the Drake leak? 
I feel like you love that. Yeah. That is a crazy I, dick. Why is it so ridiculous? To the Did side. His dick actually get leaked. I, Bending over it? his fist. Mate, his dick's literally a question mark. Like the Riddler <laughs> would have his dick on his hat. <laughs> I, think it was, I, I, genu- I think it was flaccid. Aye. What? You well, it it was though? like, was it no? Like it was coming out his horn and kind of like. <laughs> Do you know what it must going look like off when... to the side? I thought. Right. I don't... You know... <laughs> but imagine your dick's that big. Hold on, you put it up. It just goes. Ah. So Drake has like a legit like wizard staff in between his pants. Mate, it's ridiculous, right? You know, you know what it's like. He must have to walk about. See the sketch where I'm in the top hat and all that swinging the cane. Oh, mate. He must need to walk that swinging his fucking like over his shoulder. Right. Uh, Did you he, see the parody where the guy had the uh, like the Hoover hose? No. There's like some dude on Instagram who's <laughs> like Drake and he's like gone like a hoover hose. Do you know I fucking love the internet? But let's be honest, he definitely deliberately leaked that, yeah. 100%. If you're packing heat, then of course you're going to post it. Yeah. Drake, the kind of guy. Eh? But do you know why I think he done it? Because of the canyon. It was such a weird angle, but as well, like, he's pure doing can. it into the mirror. It's pure like. No, I always thought that Drake would have a small penis. What? <laughs> you know, why? Why? Why, why were you, you about about it no, thinking about no, it? No, I just you know, like you look at like I look at a person, you're just, I've like, never you listened to a young dick. thug and been like, oh, I wonder what he's cocks like. <laughs> no, he's packing heat. I definitely not have a fat. Who? What the fucking hell? Drake? He, I always thought he'd have a small penis. Why? Have you seen that fucking hangover? No, like, no, 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 no. Explain you're you're yourself. No, explain it. You've dug the hole. I don't know. I just you know you you know like look at people and you're just like you probably have a fat cock. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not often. Oh, oh, as a licensed therapist, tell me what the fuck that means. Yeah, what does that mean? What does that That's mean? That's a homosexual, maybe. <laughs> 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 I told you we diagnosed you as gay. I didn't even need to tell him. I knew it. <laughs> All right, Sean, come here. Oh. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not. Probably is, <laughs> but no far off. Ah, no far off. I like to I like to teeter on the edge. I like to make people question who I am. I like to be a mystery. So you're bi. What? What? I'm straight. Okay, bro. I'm not gay. Right, I'm no. not gay. Dad, if you're watching this, I'm not gay. <laughs> Please do not kick Mr. me out. Mr. Bryce, gay. Gay. Mr. Bryce, this is a licensed therapist telling you this. <laughs> Why have you got a dog to me, bro? Fucking VIP <laughs> member of Polo yeah. over here. <laughs> Please, I'm not gay. What I'm a reference, mate. That's like when uh, back in the day, but like, oh, he's a bit lopsided, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? That's like one of the ones. Oh, he likes uh, that, that nightclub. Yeah. See, when like Drake was hanging about that Millie Bobby Brown and she was like crazy, fucking, oh, 16, 17. Like, what Ridiculous. was he planning to do with that thing with her? She's you know. like, like, fucking what the fuck? She's the size of she is the legit size of that dick. No, it, it, it is genuinely about the length of a person. Aye. Like Pierce. <laughs> it's one Pierce long. <laughs> His career's no longer. Like, this is what I was talking to somebody about the other day, and they're like, what? But Janky leaked it. Who knows? Who? I don't I care. Janky leaked it, man. I don't care. But they were like, why? I was like, well, where's his career? Like, it's gone. It's Aye. fucked. Like, when was the I last time you ever fucking seen Drake? I like that. that I mean, last time he on that radio. So he's trying yeah. to stay relevant, isn't he? I think. Like, well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I think it was that. Oh, no, 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 do you know what it is? Kanye? No, it, no I, it's probably to take the heat off that because he's been doing these stupid fucking live streams and they became a pure meme. Oh my God, I need the Max Wien. I was going to say that. The fucking I need to Max Ladies Wien. with gentle hands. Do you guys think. <laughs> like crazy. How why funny, is he doing that? How funny is the. Have you guys seen the whole thing that Drake's. Apparently a closeted gay, and some guy goes, I, "I know." I came on his face, and then they put up an edited picture of Drake with just loads of cum in his face. <laughs> and I was just like, ah, "There's some guy out there, mate, just waiting, just waiting for somebody to spread a gay rumor about Drake." Going, I've got a fucking belt of a picture to make when that comes out. Like what Where a were weird you? bastard! You found us? Like, what did what side did you go on? Twitter's crazy, mate. Twitter is crazy. Twitter, Twitter is Twitter. crazy. Twitter's full of pornography. Is it either Twitter or Reddit? It's full of pornography and people fake tweeting that Kanye West Vultures has been took down. <laughs> like every second tweet is like, oh, Spotify have took off and then I'm like listening to it on Spotify. Yeah. Oh, crazy. I've just, uh, I just realised that Kanye was an actual musician because like I only used to follow him like politically and like his views and stuff recently. <laughs> uh, so I, I just started getting into like his music and fucking hell, he has a he has a genius. When he's it comes no, he's batshit crazy, but he has no. He's, he's like Van Gogh. Van Gogh wasn't like hi, I'm Van Gogh. He was like ah, I've cut my ear off. How funny that be like <laughs> Van Gogh goes ah, he goes, I will paint anyone. But Jewish people. <laughs> he was that uh, just like Kanye, anti-Semitic. So, fuck. what's your favorite Kanye album that you've since kind of listened? I know you've not listened to them all, but what's the or what's yeah, your f- best fucking, favorite song? Uh, oh, you've been oh, fuck. What? What? Uh, I don't get it. You don't get it? No. So, yeah. see when you, I, I genuinely, genuinely I, I genuinely think his music is garbage. I've never what, sat man? down and listened to I a Kanye that? West song and been like, "That's a fucking banger." 
Oh. I'm just, n- really? I'm just, ca- I, I miss the boat. I don't know. He's a cunt. I hate him. You don't like <laughs> to like run away. No, as a fucking all that. I, as a it's, person, by the way, I'm not. I'm just kidding on it. Kanye is a fuck. He's a mental person. No, I, don't, I, don't I, don't, I, I don't get the music. I don't, I don't get. Like I watched the fir- one of the first that I, I remember the fucking college dropout was like, all right, okay, whatever. probably college dropout. Um, he got a Grammy for that. Never movie. really listened to much after that. Watched him at Glastonbury. Was like that was shite. But and you see him live jumping about at fucking a bunch of light bulbs running about him. Yeah, like, I, I just, I just don't get it. Mm. I just don't get what the fuss is with him. Mm. Um, I but, think he's, but, but he's even always, then, but, he's always been a cunt. He's always been a fucking idiot. But even the, but see that as well, Paul. And I would ask you this because I would argue this. So even though you may know like his stuff. You cannot deny the impact, like culturally, on music. On I, don't, it. I don't, I don't know the impact. I, You're more like metalhead, aren't you? I, I don't know what culturally, culturally, other than you know, you're gonna go bump. see Tenacious D at the Hydro. Nah, I I've seen them at the see. QMU when they oh, did, did their first. Have you good life? Uh, two guys with acoustic guitars. It's, there's a limit, you know. Uh, but I'm they might have a band. They might have a band that. No, you know, I think the day they got a wee. They'll have like a band now, but. Like he's clays, like every, oh, I hate the clothing. Just I hate the clothing. Everything about him, crazy. Everything about him, I've just always sort of sat back and been like, it's I just don't that, get this. It's just I that just kind of feeling. Instead of paying for a show, they like they must want to make it feel like you're paying to just hang out, like because you're just coming out wearing like a tie dye shirt where there's like. I see. Sometimes I never understand. Sinatra never I, came out wearing a uh, t-shirt with a <laughs> like, dog on it, you know. But I don't uh, get no. I never understand see rap concerts because it's always just backing tracks that are playing. The song and the guy kind of sings over it a bit. Aye, I know. So I'm like, you're just paying. You're just paying to basically listen to a song where a bunch of other people are fucked up on that. See, when you're saying like culturally the impact, like who, who are like, who's his lineage? Who came after him? Or you would be like, he's a legend. And Kanye, without Kanye, there's no him. Hmm. So I'll there's be, that I'll just be, tells me straight I, away. No, that well, well, well be fair, Kendrick Kanye's. Lamar. But, not, but, 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 but Kanye always kind of fucks it so like like he, he, he was mentoring Chance the Rapper uh, and then Kanye he's a rapper he's a rapper he's a drummer 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 you know his brother but he used to he used to be a rapper Chance the Rapper is not a rapper Chance the Rapper used to have great AP the early stuff is fantastic we don't do the same drugs anymore it's a great song but then he released his first big album and he was listening to too many people and it was shite, right? Yeah. Honestly, I've never been more disappointed in my entire life. Such a letdown, man. And uh, it's funny, there's this recording of uh, Kanye in the studio then just turn to him, like, like Chance Rapper says something, he's like, Dog, why the fuck are you saying it in your album flop, bitch? <laughs> it is yeah, so funny. <laughs> See, so Kanye, a bit mentally ill. No, he's, he's definitely got bipolar disorder. 100%, uh, man. 12 Grammys. Oh, I know, he's fucking, he's a genius. But I, I just want to hear back. Tenacious D, it's a bit overrated. No, the comedic genius is your dick. I, but their music's not that good. Oh, they just have the greatest, like, No, the, great, the greatest song in the world is... No, I'm fine. saying they have the greatest people around them writing comedically for those songs. They're a, they're a comedic band. What else do you want them to be, Lewis? Make good tunes, that's what I want them to be. Where uh, else but, do you want them to be? But see that... They're I, a band, though. They make they're not a band. Yeah, they are no, a band. But they're hold not, on, they're Lewis. Are, they make music. Lewis. Are you opposed to... Because I would say that they're... What they're trying to do with each album of Tenacious D is make it like a... Uh, like a comedy musical. That's what it is. Exactly. So do you That's just dislike like musicals? Well, no, if, it, if, it's, if it's like a funny song, like a comical song, it's, it can still be good. It can still be a good song. But none of their songs are really like... Wow, you just feel like you can't take it seriously. Paul, and he not even that. Here. Not even that. I can like... I can like If it's a comedic song and it's funny... But it still has to be a good tune. Yeah, but they are. Not really. They're a, they're a, they're the, like great, a, the greatest song in the world is fine. I hear that a lot, but tribute, other than that... Tribute, Wonder Boy. That's Wonder Boy's all right. Yeah. It doesn't really... I think you're... For Post-apocalypto, you, the you, there's a the few good ones. Oh, oh, yeah, I feel about Tenacious D. I, but I would openly be like, I, you're right, Tenacious D are a shit band. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, can you, can you's lauded like he's the Led Zeppelin of hip-hop? <laughs> Do you know I, what I mean? And I just don't get it. I, I just... I've never... I've, I've always felt that he's so... Everything's just so hype. Aye. It's all just like, this is going to be... See the way that he speaks about himself and the way that people talk about him? It's like, this is the greatest thing. And then you listen to it and I'm like... I mean, I'm not a hip-hop fan, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm not being like, it's shite. I'm sure the people out there will be like... I, ca- I listen to it and I'm like, right, I kind of get what you're saying, but he's not a genius. I don't I get is. the genius. 
I, I, and I've never had anybody where I've said in like private, like, explain Kanye's genius to me. Where they're like, here's the genius. Do you know I what I mean? I don't, I, I don't think like the genius is so much in terms of the lyrics. I think lyrically, he's okay. Vultures is the latest album is a bit lazy when it comes to the lyrics. Ah, it's like, sh- that's how like the big Cause, cause, cause Fantano, stuff. Anthony Fantano said that and he gets slated for it, but he's absolutely yeah. right. The writing is maybe the laziest so far, but it, it, he's, de- he's he's one of those artists who, for me, I've always felt a difference with each album. There's a whole different vibe, whereas sometimes people put out albums and it's just a collection of songs. There's no like mm-hmm. a an overarching feeling to uh-huh. it. That's where the genius comes in, the variety of it, in my opinion. Right. I, I just think, like, see where that, because... I might be talking a power of shape, no, but that's no, what I feel. No, no, no. I, I was, so, uh, like, every, everything's got, like, a purpose, and he's yeah, got, like, a uh, message. It has a, and... it has a feel to it, a, uh-huh. an actual feel. Well, I sound even, it sounds... It takes a talented not rapper that, to It's not like each song's the same, but sound. there's something there that connects it. Right. So for me, like, with Kanye, I've always felt like... He's one of the people, like, every generation wants a genius. And I've always felt like that generation of people were just clutching at straws with him and overhyped him. And he wasn't mm. actually as good as what people made it. But I'm maybe going to listen to it. Because mm. I've only listened to a bit, a bit and then watched a what's it? Listen to it. Cinema Glastonbury high. was just like, it's a guy jumping about in a bunch of tube lights. Uh, to, to be honest, the you concerts know? don't blow me away. I like, like the live performances. Like, like and even then, that, uh-huh. like, when he did... Uh, like Donda, uh, like the listening party, fucking bringing out Marlon Manson in the middle of LA. <laughs> and he shut uh, himself off, man. But, but see that? I'm like, what, like <laughs> paying money for that? that urban myth. Why? Because he's not even performing. He's just sitting in like a man made church that they've made in the middle of the stadium, bopping his but head. Th- that, this is what, that, that kind of like. It's like, that's like. How that, up your own arse can you be artistically wise? So that's, yeah. that's what I get. He's just so far up his own arse. That uh, I, just, I don't know if it just turns me off. Like in my head, I'm just like, oh fuck this guy. Actually, like, even I watch two gay yeah. guys. Turns sex. Off. What? I get turned I... off. Oh, do you? What? Uh, what? And you can get turned on and turned off in a non-sexual way. That's interesting. It's interesting. Every day's a school. <laughs> <laughs> Every day's a school. <laughs> no, but it's just like I, I think like him as a person and the way that he goes on about himself. And then when you declare yourself a genius, you're all, for me you're automatically not a fucking genius. Aye, that's exactly. I've been telling him this right. He kept, he turns around to me the other day and he goes, he goes, I'm a great actor. And I says, you should never say that about I yourself. I didn't say bro. that. Yeah, Lewis, shut up. You did. That. Shut up. We literally had this argument, and that's and I turned around. I man. went, no, I went. Nah, I when happen. you know you're a great actor, when people tell you're a great actor, and you don't need to say it. That's the same with Kanye. You don't oh, even do need you... people to tell you, you just need to listen to the fucking applause. I think anybody <laughs> that gets to the top of their game will, in their head, probably think that they're some sort of fucking genius. Ah, you develop a god complex. Uh-huh. So you think MD, like, say you got to that, say you, like, you, when, when you, so by the way, to clarify, Paul is like, like a avid musician. Dr. So he, he isn't just looking at music going, oh, I like this. He's trying to look at it from an objective standpoint, why people would like it. Am I right? Aye, I don't aye. imagine I. But uh, except with Kanye, because I think he's a cunt. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> no I'm joking. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. Uh... Honestly, I think it was, you know actually, I'm gonna, before I start pouring myself another drink. I think it's like the person that's on the same level as Kanye in this generation, Travis Scott. He's unreal. Like if you listen, mm. to, if you listen to Utopia, if you listen to fucking any of his songs, man, like fucking. My eyes, goosebumps, fucking nightcrawler. Yeah, but to be honest, they all, all sound the fucking same. Fiend, Fiend's unbelievable. To quote Snoop Dogg, humana, 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 humana. <laughs> right, uh, well, well, we might we see that Iron Claw, right? But before, because we're talking about this, right? Uh, what's a film that's not been made about somebody in history that you would make? Like, you'd be like, oh, that would be fucking class. I think I would make... The Hitler biopic. No, I'm kidding, no, no. That is mine, mate. That was <laughs> great. That 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 Genius. Does it actually? Yeah. What? There's, a bit, there's been a fair few. Oh, who's the fucking Scottish actor that played him? There was a Scottish actor he's in fucking train spotting. Sean Chalmers. Sean Chalmers, yes. Yeah, Sean Chalmers. Sean Chalmers. Chalmers. Sorry, sorry, that's my dream role. To be in train spotting. <laughs> 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 the ginger. Oh, mate. Jumper. Something Carlyle. Robert Carlyle. So, Robert Carlyle. He plays Hitler in a biopic. I swear he does. I know. I, thought it was I mean, I think he's that into it. There's been movies about... 
the Nazi party there's been movies about yeah. the Second World War I, don't I didn't know there was an actual Hitler biopic yeah, that. Man. I, the story of Hitler well, as a child is so interesting like if okay I can... we're not going we're not going <laughs> down this okay. show okay. Okay. To flex my we're not going down this show we are already get, going to get anti-Semitic yeah. when I talk about those fucking Jews and the Wales I took mate. so sense for a reason I liked myself a wee bit of history Right. Yeah, this I is like not the, the time gateway. Long. That is, is that like who was it? it? Was like I'm getting into history. That's gateway Republican or whatever. Like <laughs> you're, you're basically <laughs> I, I, just grafting into the right wing, being yeah. like, oh, I watched World War Two documentaries oh, Shane on Gillis. YouTube. Was Shane Gillis? Was it Shane yeah, Gillis yeah, that yeah, said uh, that? Because he was talking. But anyway, like what was uh, it that was interesting more... about Hitler's childhood? I go on. What was it? Don't when we said that, like you're. I feel like in that sense, I've said you like that's going to be good. Let's okay, see. Come on, come let's on. get to spring this time. Is clips. All right, well, obviously, uh, <laughs> watch this. It'll be not even about Hitler. It'll be talking like Britney Spears or something. Oh, I swear to God, if you just come out where he got kicked out of art school, I'm going to fly for you. <laughs> well, actually, funny enough, no. But obviously, see when he was a Wayne, he had like a bunch of brothers, and his dad and his mom were cousins. So Hitler's a wee incest baby, first off, and he had like a wee brother, which died sadly, and he was so fucked up for him. He was seeing like images of his wee brother. He like talked to me and shit, and that's like one of the um, what's it called, like reasons why Hitler loved the fucking blonde hair and blue eyes shit is because of his mother, because she had blonde hair, blue eyes, uh, and he absolutely adored her, and because obviously his dad was this fucking heavy abusive like Austrian man, that's why he was so patriotic for Germany. He was like, oh fuck you, dad, I hate Austria, I'm going to love Germany, and then he killed all the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> And then, not no. even, nothing before it. <laughs> nothing in between. Nothing in between. He's not brought back. Well, see that, no, there's, there's going to be something more because <laughs> he had any of his complex. <laughs> <laughs> he had daddy issues. No. <laughs> and he just killed all the Jews. Just, uh, well, well, because most schizophrenic <laughs> people don't fucking uh, kill six million people. <laughs> so there's something else going on. With, did, was, did, the minute crack touched his system, that was uh, that. No, there was no, like, fucking... I so he his missus and I thought stuff. he was going to say something like his dog died when he was a boy and that was it. No, his hatred for Jews like built over time because obviously the overall consensus across Germany was that they hated Jews. It wasn't just Hitler. It was Germany in general. No, what are you laughing at? Do you this know, is know just a lot about Hitler, mate? Hey, man. What, I what, like my history. Where have you been going 9pm every Wednesday? What's going on here? I don't want to talk about to it. To your special meetings, Lewis. Me and my friends have a complex relationship with the Lord. Yeah, Lord who? But fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, ger the German people run about the time of the rise of the Nazi party didn't just hate the Jews, they hated the French, they hated the British, they hated the American, yeah, and then it was the whole conspiracy of the, it's the Jewish war. bankers that put us here and yeah. caused the hyperinflation yeah. had nothing to do with our Kaiser taking them into a fucking war with his people cousin. People who have or, no hopes are easier to control. I, the the rumours about Hitler are always mental, aren't it? It's like, I one day, like he was going to buy Skittles, but they raised the price 60p, and he only had 59p, and then he just went, I hate Jewish people, it must be because Well, of even them. then, he must have been such a psychopath, because <laughs> the state of the economy, then, uh, I don't feel like killing people. I do, mate, those Skittles are getting expensive, mate. Well, I'm obviously, raging. the 60p? He, he rose 60p. So quickly <laughs> was because uh, Germany was in such a shithole after the fucking First World War. The uh, Treaty of Versailles absolutely fucked the country. And essentially, he went up and said, I can fix all this. And the entire Germany was like, hell yes, get it done. Because the fucking... Have you not seen that fucking... Um, hell yes, get it done. Well, yeah, that's how you speak German. Ah, so as that's where that, that's that's where that phrase comes school. from, oh, it. Oh, yes. The old Germanic get, language. Hell yes, Wait, Have you not seen that done, fucking, like, Christ. that old 1940s German, like, um, <laughs> panel? <laughs> where it's like, done? some guy's got, like, a big bucket of money. Right. And he's put it outside. And then the next day, someone just took the bucket and left the money. That's how, like... On like devalued the money was and fucking. Uh, so you are trying to tell me Germany were buying loaves of bread with buckets? I, they were wallpapering. I'm saying the buckets were more cash. valuable than the money because of hyperinflation. He's right. Like you could, there was yeah, you were getting you. paid like a billion Deutschmark for a morning's work. It was worthless. Their money what? was completely worthless. Ah, uh, because obviously they had to pay a certain amount of money back because obviously they fucked the world. So they had to pay a certain amount of back back to the allies for damages. They fucked the world. <laughs> <laughs> They fucked the world. See, I wonder... You, right, but so, you'd so, be amazing see for like BBC and they're like, who should we get <laughs> to present history. these history documentaries? Just Lewis, man, skipping massive chapters so, of history. Right, okay, so then, <laughs> so, so then, so here we go, war boy, answer me this. In terms of like... Uh, go on. <laughs> you actually boy. look like you're an American patriot. That's how you're dressed. Well, it's the, it's the nice skin fade, the low paper <laughs> fade. Oh, BBC, uh, wow. get me on drunk histories, man. I'll do it yourself. That is not BBC. 
What is it then? Drunk Comedy Central. Comedy yeah. Central. Shut Isn't that owned by BBC? No. Tell me more about <laughs> Nazis and answer this question. No, so what I'm Go saying on, is, God. in terms of paying a country like back after war, like Germany had to do, mm. um, did we send a bill to Japan after dropping two atomic bombs on them? Because that's did a bit... we fuck? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we yeah, we we yes! <laughs> Yes, we don't like them. And, uh, they me lost. Just... <laughs> Lewis, they lost that. No, that <laughs> Let me just use my wee nod a wee bit. Um, actually, it wasn't the UK oh, that dropped the bomb. It was I America. Know. We all know that. Oh. So well, technically, it wasn't us. It was the Allies. Allied forces. Allied forces. We're allies. Right. Back to... The special even. relationship. I hate right. him. Back I hate to... him. Sorry, yeah, my ADHD is just fucking... Back to absolutely... What were we talking about before we got into the Back to horrible histories with Lewis, mate. Right, you, were talking, that about, you were talking about uh, that Zac Efron movie. Oh, I, I, right. Iron Claw. Iron Claw, or as, mom, or as my mum calls it, an abortion. Crazy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Crazy. Got my clip. Right. Um, yeah, did. So, that movie was we went insane. to see it, right? Uh, you, you know roughly the story? No. Right. We're going to spoil it. The Von Erickson name, isn't it? Von, oh, Von Eriks. Uh -huh. Von Eriks. Kerry Von Eriks and I, right. Uh -huh. right. right. So, so do you know about them? Wrestling them families do you know about them? Uh -huh. Right. Will, will we just say for the, the Just say it. Right. Chances it's, are they've uh, probably seen it. Basically, they were a wrestling family. Their dad did it. I think their granddad basically before that. Everybody does it in the their Rocky. family. The Rocky. Aye. The Rocky, basically. Uh, but not Hawaiian. Uh, thank God. Uh, need a, what is it? A volcano went off in Hawaii, didn't it? What Probably. the fuck are you talking Recently, about? Yeah, what are you about? What? Recently, that, I'm get back talking. to Iron Claw. Back to Iron Claw, that's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and basically, this family is like cursed to fuck. So, like, all the brothers end up like they all wrestle, but the dad basically fucks them up in the head, and uh, they all end up killing themselves. And then there's only like one left at the end. But we went to see the film about it, and it's fucking wild, man. It is unreal. Like, basically, right? if, uh, the film, the film only told you, like a minute part of it and just seeing the film it was fucked up but then when you go research about it it's crazy mate oh my God. I remember te I was texting you about all like the shit that I'd found out about like Aye. They, obviously there was like six of them they only showed four yeah. but there were six brothers the oldest one that died when they were seven and then there was the youngest one right no we need to go Chris. brother to brother and describe right, brother. what happened so the first one named after the father Fritz mm -hmm. not Joseph Fritz oh of course not <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Sorry. But big oh, tonight, uh, <laughs> Seven years old, the firstborn of the Von Eric family. Uh, I think mm -hmm. he went to like a caravan park or some shit with his parents. Yep. And touched like a live wire, got electrocuted, passed out, fell face first into a puddle and drowned. If that's not a curse, I don't know what else is. But in the film? Mad. Yeah, it's probably a fucking no, curse. They don't see... <laughs> <laughs> but in the film they go oh, he goes oh, he just dance. died of like a kind of skin condition and I'm like was that skin condition what? burnt skin <laughs> aye, was it I was it because he was burnt to a crisp no but it was like they were like oh what, what skin condition did they die from eczema the fuck are you talking about and it's like the and, uh, the second brother uh, I he yeah, Kevin, he's Played the second Zach he's Efron. the second oldest and basically everybody thinks he's the oldest the whole film. But then what you actually end up finding out is their oldest brother died that horrific right. way. And uh, So Zach Efron plays him. So Yeah, he, Zach Efron plays Kevin. Kevin the second he's oldest. the main guy. Right. He's the main guy. He's the one that the story follows. Yeah. Right. But, uh, basically like And where does Kerry fall into it? He's the third oldest. Yeah, third. He's the most successful, but he's the third oldest. He was initially an Olympian. Right. What was his disc he played? Champ. Disc. That was right. it. And he because basically beat his, uh, disc, discus, he basically it. beat his dad's uh, junior record, and it, but the way he beat it was fucking scary because of the age and all that. And then he got a college scholarship, such right, a young yeah. age. So he's he a Texas shipped. tornado, Kerry Von Eric, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was his yeah. Name. He was shipped off to shit. like go do the Olympics, but then Russia would uh, invade in Afghanistan. So then, uh, what you call it, US obviously had the Afghan treaty, or whatever the fuck it is, mm -hmm. and he, basically the Olympics got cancelled, mm -hmm. like, because the Olympics were in Russia, mm -hmm. so he ha had to come home, and he was fucked in the head, man, because he, he was Which like, is oh, mad to think, because he, essentially, he got out, he got out of that, like, you know, that family of, like, being forced into wrestling. I was safe. He got out, I he know, thought man. he was, like, safe, he was like, oh, nice, I'm, I'm in college now, I'm doing this, I'm going to the Olympics, and then he gets brought back, that must have fucked him in the head. That, that's what I'm saying. And you've just like the Olympic the Olympic guys train crazy amount and they're fucking oh so God, obsessed. Like their life is just Olympics. And then you go, Oh, by the way, you were gonna you were definitely gonna win a gold and like achieve your dream, but 
we can't go because we're doing this pathetic war. Some gay war, eh? Aye. Sorry, <laughs> millions are dying. Can I not get my gold medal? I want to throw a disc. Uh, and then... <laughs> 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 so, uh, Zach Efron's character, like, what happened with him? So, Mate, he's the only so survivor. What, so, sorry, I right, before we move right. on, what was the, the, the end for Kerry Von Eric? Right, Did he kill crazy. himself? Was he... Aye, because, right, um, so, he got in, like, uh, basically what had happened was he was, like, the pretty boy. So that's why, like, WWE wanted him, because he had a lot of, like, female fan base uh-huh. and all that. So they started coming in. But what they didn't know was um, in the film, they say it's a motorbike accident and he loses his foot. Uh-huh. So he has a prosthetic leg. But what actually happened was something like, he was so fucked out he's not on drugs and he got in like some mad accident. It wasn't a motorbike thing. And then he was just told, oh, don't walk in your leg because if you do, like, don't walk in it for a while. You'll be fucked. You'll be, you know, you'll get it removed. Mm-hmm. And then what did they do? Because he wanted to go back to wrestling. Moved about and it, snapped it. Oh, fuck. And then he had to get it taken See, off. See, all you fitness freaks, your eye was blooming. But he went on to, yourselves. he went on to wrestle with a prosthetic oh, leg. Oh, did he? The, that's so that was no before the WWE. No one knew. Nobody knew. Oh really? So see the whole time he had a prosthetic leg, wow. and that's basically what happened. He got a uh, so the pain of being on that all the time, and how they wear the big wrestling boots. Uh-huh. He would uh, see when he was in the locker room. He would just shiver like with all his stuff on, and go, "He's like, oh, it's quicker because I just get to clean all my stuff here and myself." But he was hiding his prosthetic wow. leg every day, and then because of that pain of wrestling on a prosthetic leg. He got addicted to. Pain. I was gonna say, did he get addicted to painkillers? Pain because he couldn't. And then, oh, I think man. every wrestler is addicted to painkillers. Uh, alcohol, painkillers, and then. Uh, so what happened was uh, because he got addicted to that stuff, he was becoming unreliable. So Vince McMahon was like, "Right, we're gonna kind of sweep you under the rug and get you to fuck." But uh, prior to that, when he was the Intercontinental Champ, he got caught with like steroids, uh, cocodamol, cocaine, just a shit ton of drugs. And then the WWE went, "This is your superstar." Can we sweep it under the rug, pay off, whatever, all good. Then he got caught when he wasn't the champ, when he was turning up late because he was a drug uh-huh. druggie. No, like get him to fuck. They got caught and then they basically went, we are not fucking helping you. So basically he was so drugged up, like he phoned his brother and he was like, our brothers are calling us. Like, uh, no, because everybody was dead basically. It was only David and Chris left. that had died uh, before he was that. Like, our brothers are calling us because he was so fucking drugged. He's like, I don't want to be a junkie anymore, but I don't want to give up wrestling, but I need to be a junkie because of the pain. Mm-hmm. And, he, and then fucking, uh, he goes and uh, just shoots his cell in the heart. Is that, what, is that really? That's how he died, Did they it? change that for the movie? Aye, they changed change it everything for the film. Fucking out, right? Aye, they uh, no, it's not changed. No, they changed the prosthetic leg bit. It was just a motorbike accident. It was was a, f- it was, this film sorry. sounds like a joy to watch. Just, oh, this mate. Is, oh, oh, that's breaking stuff. Fucking I cried wild. like three times in that movie, man. I legit cried uh, like three times in that movie. And then they all had, they had the fact that um, all the brothers had wives and kids ah, exactly. the whole time. They don't mention the fact that David, the one, the second, the second oldest behind Kevin, uh, had a miscarriage with his missus. Right. Uh, he was like meant to win the fucking like heavyweight championship, but he died from like what some drug overdose. But in real life, it was some stomach problem. I right, well no, basically, I think the main thing that they all die from is either suicide, o- drugs, o- no, or OD, ODing, or being drug addicts because of wrestling, because of the pressure that their dads put them on, and it's fucked their head mentally. It's the dad that's killed them all. That's basically what's happened. Because yeah. he mentally manipulated them all to be obsessed with wrestling. Getting them on steroids, like, fast, like, huge amounts of steroids from the age of, like, fucking 17 and stuff. And they're on painkillers, alcohol. They're all fucked because they need to do this to please their dad. But uh, he basically died because he, he was that. Because he was so young. And then, obviously... This all exploded when he was in a hotel room. And so they covered it up, but the WWE covered it up. They basically were in Japan, and you're not allowed drugs in Japan, and it would put a bad thing on. And Japan's a massive market for wrestling. They mm-hmm. fucking love it, mate. And uh, basically they had to cover it up. So a wrestler who was in the same room as him, like it's in Ric Flair's book. So a wrestler who's the, who was in the same, like the shared rooms basically, was in the, the same room, seen all his drugs, basically took them all, flushed them all down the toilet. So when the police came there was no drugs he was dead at this point the guy was dead eh? he's dead he's lying dead on the phone he's like oh I need to hide all these drugs I need to oh the WWE's going to get a bad rap and aye covered up his death basically it was a drug overdose in the movie the most fucked part was uh, Michael Michael story Michael Von Eric that was the one that like he wasn't into wrestling he wasn't built like the rest of them he was just like kind of wee skinny 
scrawny guy, but he got forced in by his dad. Mm -hmm. And then I think in one of his first starting matches, he fucks his shoulder, ends up doing something, and then in the operation room, he goes into like some catatonic state. He goes into like a coma or some shit. I don't know if this happens in real life, but in the movie, he comes out and he's essentially a vegetable. Uh, I love doing a podcast with you guys. It's a regular. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, this movie so, the film, man. This movie's so fucked, man. Uh, it's honestly. so good. It's so fucked. Like, so uh, would you rate it out of 10? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 out of 10. 10. 10. It's Aye. absolutely unbelievable. Do we think we have Oscars next year? Aye, absolutely. 100%. Jeremy Allen White, who Mate, plays Kerry, is And I find it so Oscar. funny because we have a viral clip and it's gone even more viral than now because of that film's viral and I slagged wrestling like fuck and Aye. even when I was watching it, I was going... Ah oh, fuck! This is so good. This is unreal. But it's because it wasn't actually just them oiling up and pumping one another. We also went to go see a film, didn't we, Sean? Mate, is this some? Is this oh, mate, yeah. Illumination Studios migration? Migration. So from the Iron Claw <laughs> to immigration. No, is what? This is another hit film. Migration. Migration. This is another hit film from the studio that brought you Despicable Me and the Minions, etc., etc. But little did I know, before the film started, <laughs> the full Despicable Me would play before it. Literally, there's what? a short film. Eh? It's basically the entirety of the first Despicable Me film. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. So basically, so the first 15 minutes in this boiling, roasting cinema, <laughs> we're all choking, <laughs> dying, uh, and. We're having to watch something that came out like 10 years ago. Eh? But the funniest part for me was like, I was like, imagine you're taking your kids to go see this uh, duck film, right? And uh, <laughs> they're like, someone's like, oh, what are you doing this weekend? And you go, oh, well, we've not seen, none of the kids or I have seen <laughs> Despicable, any of the Despicable Me's. So we're going to cuddle up on the weekend because I've got the kids this weekend. You know what I mean? Me and the missus are divorced. It's a real bonding moment. We're going to bond over seeing all the Despicable Me films. And you take them with the pictures, and it literally shows you the first Despicable Me to the last Despicable Me, all in the winner. Just sums them all up. Paul, also, there's another thing, right? It's crazy bad, mate. For a movie about <laughs> you, ducks. Hold on a second, Paul. You're going to love this, right? Oh, Let me ask a question first. Lewis, yeah? do ducks fly? Aye. Do they? Sean, do ducks fly? Yes, Lewis. In the cinema, right? I kid you not. <laughs> I kid you not, we're in the cinema is, is, is the movie not called Migration? Aye, Aye no, that's exactly right. <laughs> the, 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 the film started, we're five minutes in, Aye, that's and I'm like, that's shut up, right? Of course they can! can. <laughs> Aye, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I told you! I wasn't confident in my answer. We're five minutes <laughs> into the <laughs> cinema, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is so bright, the colours in it are crazy. And he's like, oh, do you want to know what's crazy to me? The fact that these ducks can fly, Aye. I'm like, dog. Sure. Tell me you're joking. Were you thinking they were chickens or but something? Like I had to make him Google it in the cinema. <laughs> I made the whip his phone and Google it. <laughs> so, mate, I... How have you made it this far in life? So, this was my logic. For a second this was my that. logic. I was like, ah, well, any time I've seen them, they're just chilling at ponds. How long <laughs> have you sat at this pond for? <laughs> I've never seen have a duck fly. Have you walked by it? Mate, I have never seen a duck fly. And the fact they were flying in it, I was like, what the fuck Why is Why else would they have wings? What That's creature has wings that... Oh, I mean, apart from penguins, ostrich, ostrich, ostrich... Chickens can't fly either. Chickens. There's a lot of actual... <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a fair few birds that, that can't can fly. fly. Hey, so fuck you, mate. Fly That's squirrels. Not, uh, how's that that far off? But what the fuck, because oh, the fucking penguins. movie's called Migration, and it's about fucking... It's a walking migration. Surely it's about ducks migrating to, like... I thought they were just going to... They're flying swing. in the poster. Flying squirrels <laughs> have wings. <laughs> <laughs> what about fucking the mighty ducks and the flying bee? <laughs> <laughs> I want a bunch of fat kids. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> so you've... Uh, I've been sitting so here all my life like... Fucking astounding. Didn't know. That you didn't know that. I can't even believe it. I, I want to ask what else you think. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked Shut up. up I think we have ways says. of making I would, you talk. <laughs> I would love to hear you sit and talk about ducks. Right. I need to go for a piss so badly, by the way. Go I've been holding this in 20 right. minutes, dude. The funniest part for me in this film... Just move the mic. I don't feel comfortable to it. Mate. Oh, I can wait for this. Mook to let it come back. This bit's hilarious. Are we in pause at the minute? We've got like five minutes left, so we'll crack on. Aye. Um, right, the funniest right, we'll part... Continue, we'll go. The funniest part for me was... Right, so in the movie, they all have American accents, right? So basically, the premise of the film is... Uh, there's a wee family of ducks... Did you have to Google if ducks can talk? <laughs> <laughs> I had to Google if there were cartoons also. I've never seen those ones out there. <laughs> I was like, this is fucking David Attenborough shit we're watching here. <laughs> uh, right, and, uh, basically, this family of ducks, uh, the father has found a safe place for them that they'll never, ever get 
attacked or they'll need to move. Uh-huh. Like it's endless supply of food, water, whatever. Stuck they're in he's, his ways. Stuck in his ways, it's right? Comfortable. But then like uh, a group for Jamaica come and they're like, oh, like, you guys should come. Like it's going to get cold as shit here. We're all migrating to Jamaica. And then they're like, no, 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 we can't. Would you make of that? Would you make of that? Eh. And then the fucking the, the dad duck goes, he goes, no, no, we can't do that. And then he talks to, which the funniest thing is, is when Danny DeVito is one of the voices of the ducks. <laughs> so he's the uncle and he starts talking to the dad and he's like, the uncle's like, he's like, he just looks like Danny DeVito, mate. Like he just does. The oh, duck version of The head. duck looks like Danny DeVito. Aye, right? honestly. And uh I mean a sandwich. And he's like, he's like, he goes, <laughs> rum ham. He goes, <laughs> he goes, rum ham. He goes, Charlie, what you doing? And then he goes like that to the dad duck. He goes, you've got your, you got your fucking morals right. You got everything straight. You can just stay here in paradise and end up like me. And then the dad duck goes, fuck that. I don't want to end up like him. Like he's a loser. So they, they all fly basically get to Jamaica. They go, yep. Yeah. Right, they head to Jamaica, but then they go, oh no, we don't quite know how to get there. We need to find something, somebody that's from there to take us there. They find a parrot, right? <laughs> now this parrot is the most parrot looking motherfucker ever, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy, mate. The it's, Jamaican accent oh, is mate, racist. It's racist as fuck. Oh my God, mate. Right, uh-huh. So bad. But the funniest part for me is... When they all get to Jamaica, the Jamaican people speak with an American accent. Oh, what? And the parrot is called Delroy. <laughs> <laughs> Delroy, You'd say mate. You couldn't write it, but they managed to. Yes, uh-huh. they it's did write so it. So racist, had... mate. But this part might be the most. This is definitely the most racist part of the film. Uh huh. Right, oh, I'm not even kidding. A good time then. As they get to Jamaica, Craziness. they find a group of black penguins and the penguins go, hi guys, where are you from? Now the dad huddles into the family and turns around and goes, we should take these guys to the deep south. Ooh. They're to the South Pole, but, uh-huh. but they're referencing slavery. Slavery, aye, yeah. like, wow. What conversation have I just walked into? Uh, how long about? That's how that film finished. Uh, four minutes, man. We're all good. Oh, four yeah. minutes, good, good. Is there anything else we want to hit? Yes. Quickly, point Can you out? please tell me the the story what you did at Christmas to somebody? Oh fuck! I knew. I knew right, story make it quick. About you need to do it. Okay, cool. So it's Christmas 2022. I have a shitty PC that does not work. All right, it barely runs Steam. It can't play any games. If you're lucky, you'll get Google to run. Right. Okay. All right. I've got a, a <laughs> I've got a chair and I've got a Slow table. Slow down, fuck's sake! You told me to hurry up. Oh, I've got a chair and a table. All right, so I stick it all up on Gumtree, uh, Gumtree, eBay, Facebook Marketplace. Okay. And this like single mother, like messaging me, being like, "Oh, I really like this pod. I really like this podcast. I really like this uh, PC. It's a whole gaming setup for my twelve year old boy for Christmas." Right. And I was like, "I know bother. I know bother. Four hundred quid. I've heard this. Four hundred pound. She comes down to have a look at it." Has me the three hundred pound in cash, and then turns and says to me, "I've just found the exact PC for a lower price." And I was like, "I was about to say, I'll get, I'll get it for th- for three fifty, but she says, "Oh no, but I'll buy it from you anyway." So I was like, "Yes, jackpot." Did she not say because it's Christmas, I'll buy it from you anyway? No, she just bought it because she was fucking stupid. Right, because I thought you said that the first time. <laughs> And no, it's worse. My dad went to high school with her. Right, right go, go cut to the punchline. So it gets to Christmas, all right? Uh, and she, she messaged me like, by the way, I'll give you £100 if you set this up for me and my wee boy. And I'm like, I no bother. So we, we would drive down uh, to this, like, one-bedroom flat in, in Airdrie. And this wee boy, this 12 year old boy, like, <laughs> Fortnite figures and, like, pictures of Cristiano Ronaldo on his fucking wall and shit. He's like really excited. This is this is Christmas Eve, by the way. Right, cool. This is the day before Christmas. So me and my dad, my dad's like an accomplice, by the way. Don't think right, you're getting away keep, from this. Keep rolling. So we, we we bring the PC into his room, get it all set up, and it doesn't work. It doesn't connect to their Wi-Fi at all. Their Wi-Fi is shit. Like <laughs> oh, no. doesn't load Google, doesn't load anything. Like it takes about like an hour or two. We had to go to Curry's PC World and get another Ethernet cable to hook up to their Wi-Fi just to get it to work. And then, obviously, they were like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? And they're like, no worries. It's going to take a couple hours to, for it to set up. Here's my number. If you have any issues, please call me. And I gave them the wrong number. And me and my dad boosted. 
Oh man, I super off. You're literally the man. <laughs> so uh, literally that, that wee boy, crazy. literally we wakes up on Christmas a day. Mother. So he wakes fast up forward day. to 2050, and we're under a Scottish fascist regime. And they're like, see, when I was a kid, some fucking <laughs> arsehole sold my motherfucking PC. That's Hitler's origin story. See, I like to play CSGO, but it didn't Hitler. work. <laughs> see, and it all revolves around Hitler, guys. <laughs> Every story is for our future. We are not ending it on that. It's <laughs> for our future. Now, thank you, guys. We oh, have been the Sean, future uh, Sean, pod cl- <laughs> Sean, shut up the a minute. Have you got anything with a Glasgow International Comedy Fest plug? Oh, yeah. Uh, I am opening... Uh, I'm hosting for Pierce Higgins, Thomas Elvin, and Stu Campbell. Yep. The bros. Uh, uh, Van Winkle. Van Winkle. Uh, the dates and will the be Griffin. down and the Griffin the dates will be down below and I am opening for Robin Zatina on the 15th of March at Tenants Laughter Lounge and I'm doing tons of other shit that I do not have an idea about but you'll put them all in the bio and yeah. you can watch it come along and see them live uh, maybe Lewis has Lewis. sketches out I have sketches, sketches out. out there is three out so far that me and Pierce have done with in collaboration with the BBC uh, please like, watch, and share them. And we've got one more coming, and the next one you need to clip this before they come out mm-hmm. is an absolute doozy. We have got a hell of a guest star in it, and we're very, very excited for you to see it. Very excited. I'm doing fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing absolutely nothing. If you want to check out TWG, you can. If you've got a short story or a movie you want to put me in, crack on. Well, right. do respect that. Help me with some motivation. Motivation. About bitches for him. Mm. I get bitches. I don't. No, that's... <laughs> that's um... <laughs> it's February, guys. We're here. We're in the year. Look within yourself. Ask yourself. Have you stuck to your resolution? <coughs> have you gave up the, the drugs, the cigarettes? Have you stopped texting that person? Have you? If you haven't, why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? I'm like, no, I'm alright, I'm a kid myself here. What are you acting like I'm the lure for? Do it better yourself. You clearly wanted to do it, what you just ran out of steam. Bitch. Um <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't even advice. That was just a personal you attack. Just slag the audience. Oh. Good. You called him a bitch. Guys, this has been the Fatherless Podcast. I am your co-host Lewis Reed with this has been the Furalist Podcast. The Fatherless Podcast. <laughs> Why are you so adamant that <laughs> name, man? Host Sean Chalmers and our wonderful guest, Mr. Lewis Price. You're a horrible person, what? mate. That story not is asshole. not even funny. Please I'll, like, I've done worse. follow, subscribe, share it around in clips, guys. And <sighs> remember, you can find all the links to stuff we've discussed in the bio. All right, uh, Paul is here too, and he's cool. Paul's a good man. Love Paul. Love Just Paul. put my name in the bio. Okay, Shut guys. Up, <laughs> follow my Twitter. Auf <sighs> Wiedersehen. Bye-bye. Bye.